So when we talk about Agile projects, we still have requirements, but they're not required. They're not called requirements in in Agile. They call them user stories, and all the user stories are normally contained within the product backlog, which is the responsibility of the product owner. So in this video, I'll be going through what is product backlog and what does it mean when all the stories within the product backlog are completed. So the product backlog has all the information that you need to have to complete that project. So whenever there's a requirement, it goes into the product backlog. And remember, the product backlog is always open. That means anybody can add any story to the product backlog, but it is a responsibility of the product owner to make sure it is clear and it is complete and it is prioritized for the Scrum team to work on. If it's not prioritized, if it sits at the bottom of the product backlog, it will not get, not get done in an in in urgency. It will be done once it's on top of the product backlog. So it is important that the product backlog is always up to date and kept clean. And you, as a Scrum Master, you work with the product owner on a regular basis. So here we have the product backlog as an example. You see we have four issues in here and we have all these all these sprints which have been created. And you can tell sprint two is active because it has these kind of little flags to say two have two stories points have not been started, 10.5 story points are in progress, and 11 story points have been completed. The sprint backlog again is the subset of the product backlog. So once you select the stories that you want to work on as a team, it goes into the sprint and that becomes the sprint backlog. Now the sprint backlog is the responsibility of the Scrum team. The Scrum team has to take only those stories that it as a team can think it can finish within the two week period if that's the period for the sprint itself. So the sprint backlog has all the stories that have been prioritized in the, in the product backlog that the team has taken on and have decided to work on it for the next two weeks. So therefore, the Scrum team owns this sprint backlog. You can do that by selecting the top stories from the sprint backlog by just dragging it and dropping it into that. So, and once that is clear, you can start that sprint once the sprint that is active is completed. If you look at this diagram, it is very important to understand that the product backlog is always prioritized. So you as a Scrum team will always look at the top two, three, four uh, stories that are on top of the product backlog. And you start looking at it, making sure it is clear. You understand how it's supposed to be done as a developer. As a tester, you start understanding how to write the test cases for that, for that user story. So at the end of it, you start preparing the next sprint. Meanwhile, the active sprint is the one that the team is working on and they'll be finishing off in that sprint time period. Once the active sprint is completed, the next sprint which has been sorted out and has been clarified by the Scrum team, it becomes uh, the active sprint. So the blue becomes red and the red itself is already finished. And then another blue will come here to you start preparing the, the future sprint. So this cycle, rinse and repeat, continues until all the sprint backlog items are empty, is worked on and is complete. How do you start a sprint? Once you copied all the or moved all the story that you're going to work on. So this is now your sprint backlog. You see there are two stories in sprint two. Once you have that, you have the uh, kind of the estimates for it as well. You know who's going to be working on it. You just click on this uh, button here called Start Sprint. If you don't see it, that means you don't have the authority authorization to start the sprint. You may need to get access from the admin of the Jira board. But if you do, then you just click on that and you add, add the start date and the end date for that sprint and you start. How do you complete the sprint? Once you see that the time is about to finish, you let the team know that the sprint is finishing. You make sure that all the stories within that sprint are complete or, or if it's not complete, it will be moved over to the next sprint. So how do you complete the sprint? You will see this button here in your active sprints. When you click on that, you'll see a, a complete sprint button here. Again, if you don't see it, it's because of your you don't have permission. But if you do see it, you click on that and it'll show you that what you want to do with those stories which are not complete and the options are that it'll, it'll say put it back in the product backlog 
or you can draw, uh, click on the drop down menu and you can say no I want that to go into the next sprint and then you just say complete sprint so in my Jira board called the coffee club I can see I'm on the on the product backlog I see the product um, the backlog having six issues already and on top of that I have one sprint one created I have six issues in there as well and I have the option to have this sprint started uh, when I click on the sprint start it asks me what's the sprint name I can change it if I want to two weeks is default but you can change it to you know more if you want it doesn't make sense to make it more than two weeks because you want quick turnaround for the team to do and get a feedback from the product owner so you want to keep your two weeks as as, as a default you want to start it and and, and it gives you the default so once you say select the start date because you said two weeks it calculates it for you and you can put here what the sprint goal is going to be and once you finish with that you just start it once it starts you get this option here board and then now you can see this sprint is available and if i was to just make it a bit small here you now you can see that all these all this are to do in progress and done this is a simple flow which is the template that we used so now you can see that all these stories are left to do and people will start working on it by taking the story from here and say look i'm working on that on the start and the start sprint and once they finish with all that we'll be able to complete this sprint so just imagine it's been two weeks now the team has been working on all these stories some of these are already working and some of these are already done so if i put that, that so now you got all these kind of sprint in this state when you fast forward so if this is the state of the sprint after two weeks the stories have not been completed the only one has been completed now you want to complete uh, the sprint you have this option here complete sprint and also it tells you how many days are remaining for that sprint if it was uh, in real life it would say zero but because of for the sake of the video we're going to say we're going to complete this sprint now so if i complete this sprint now it gives me the option to say do you want to put this into sprint two or i can say put it back into the, into the backlog or even a new sprint so i'll say i want to put it into sprint two because that's the next one it tells me that one has completed and five issues still open and has not been completed and create a retrospective page for this one i say not yet i'll do this afterwards and then you complete the sprint so now all those stories that were not completed have moved into the into sprint two and not back in the backlog so this is how you you start and complete the sprint